It is the start of the third season for the North America Four, and one of the fixtures enjoyed most by fans and players alike is the Canada East versus Canada West match. In the past two seasons of NA4 competition, the East has a 2-1-1 one one advantage over the West, the most recent fixture resulting in a 26-24 win for the West in Vancouver in 2007. 2008 sees two very different sides and a special need to be filled ahead of the Barclays Churchill Cup in June. New Canadian team head coach Kieran Crowley is looking to fill gaps in his first run out and the NA4 is the place to see how players will potentially perform for his new team. East coach Simon Blanks thinks he may have all the pieces of the puzzle he needs to prevail in this opening round. We have some players now that can release the two fastest guys statistically in Rugby Canada which is Kieran and, and Dean Van Camp and uh, they should have the experience and the know-how to be able to put those other guys into the holes. We're going to try and earn the right to play wide by being strong at the set piece and strong in the line out. If we are able to do that we're going to cause any team a few headaches with the pace that we have behind the scrum. On the West squad there are more than a few familiar faces including the return of former Canadian teamers Pat Dunkley at hooker, Pat Fleck at scrum half and flanker Adam Van Staveren all putting their hands up for the NA4 cause and perhaps another chance at Canadian glory. For Dunkley, who last played for Canada in 2005, it's a chance to help nurture the next generation of players in Canada, and if all goes well, he can put the Canadian team jersey on once more. I'm enthusiastic. I guess this is uh, sort of my last kick at the can, you know, being 35, and uh, I'm looking to uh, bring some experience to the team, and uh, it's always nice to have some uh, mature heads, uh, you know, to settle things down. West coach John Tate, who is standing in for normal headman Tony Medina, says the NA4 is proving to be an important pathway to the national team, and having the likes of Dunkley on his squad has been interesting, as they once played together in the early days of their respective careers. It's it's good those guys have made themselves available, and I think it's uh, it's a testament to Canadian rugby that a lot of, uh, those guys have made themselves available again. Uh, you know, they've, had, they've both taken time away from the games for careers and uh, personal lives. Uh, it's good to see them back in. They bring something different to the table. That experience counts for a lot. In the East, there are a lot of veterans compared to the 2007 version of the team, a point that coach Simon Blank says will pay dividends this season. His uh, 6 out of 25 is actually means 19 other guys have been in and around the NA4 before and Canada East and that makes it an awful lot easier to, to move along quickly. At practices they know what they know what's expected of them, they know the level of intensity, they know the, the majority of the drills and some of the things that we're trying to implement in the game. So it means we, we, we did an awful lot of good work today at practice. One face that has made a return after a significant injury is Lindsay Ontario's Jared Selby. He was rocked in last year's East-West game by prop Scott Franklin causing a severe knee injury. He has bounced back after eight months of recovery, winning his first cap on the IRB 7 circuit, and he's looking forward to getting back into top-level rugby after the long layoff. It slowed me down for about eight, eight, nine months, but uh, as soon as the injury happened, a lot of people called me and encouraged me to, you know, just keep moving forward, stick to it, and you'll come around and be able to play just as well, or not even better than before. And basically, that's what I did, and here I am now, so. All players acknowledge that in its third year, the NA4 is a quality competition to be a part of. Yeah, I think it definitely gains more credibility as each year goes by. People, I mean, it's obviously a new tournament, so as years go by, people hear about it, and it's, it is gaining more credibility. It's definitely a privilege to play in the tournament. After this opening round, the competition moves to Vancouver Island and Shawnigan Lake, where Canada East and West will meet the U.S. Falcons and Hawks in July. Game time this Saturday, 2 o'clock kickoff at Fletcher's Field in Markham, Ontario. You can get more information at narugby.com. In Markham, Doug Cross reporting for the NA4 Tournament.